Newstate Mobile just has released the patch note trailer for the upcoming March update. If you are curious about all the changes, then you should definitely stay tuned and watch this video until the end. Thank you everybody for being here again, really appreciate it. And if you are excited for the update, then all smash that like button and subscribe for free to my channel. There we go. Here we'd like to introduce the update in March, coming with character looks fire. Ooh, what is that? A new weapon. Arena Kaboom. Arena Kaboom mode is a type what? of round death match where the type of round death match. You can use grenades and explosives to destroy the terrain cover. Do you know how big that is? In fact, they are testing in that mode destroyable environment. That is huge. And this mode was was there back in the days at Counter Strike with with uh, grenades. We played it. There was the floor like completely filled with glass and kind of nice. And when round Very cool. And it looks cool. You can use a grenade launcher only. In fact, only grenade launcher. Not granted other than ammo for a grenade launcher, and they even can't be looted in the game. But other settings follow the same rules with an existing round deathmatch. There you can destroy all covers and terrains except for the ones in the starting point and certain That is areas. crazy. But don't forget, you're going to die if you fall Ooh. under the destroyed terrain. That looks so cool. In care packages at the center of the map, you can find red zone launcher that you can get Red zone launcher? Red zone launcher creates a power Oh my god. Much bigger than a grenade. Yeah, that is crazy. So as a red zone launcher. Just think if, of that in the normal game. That would be OP. Based on the feedback from the Lachner changes. Yeah. That's good. We've adjusted some parts of the balance for Lagna. More weapons. Oh, how good look that! That, that is looking so good. Locations. Standing on that but you'll meet only train two thing. In one session. Very cool. Waiting time has been extended after the location of the first blue zone is confirmed. All right. Movement time has been reduced. It is okay. It felt a little bit stressful in the first zone, but it was okay. It was fitting good for the map. Multi care packages has been increased during the session. Fair enough. The general amount of items that appeared in game has been slightly increased too. Oh, that is both good because in the later zones in the middle there are no buildings to loot at all. Um, that will help when there is a big airdrop if you respawn a teammate that he has some some utility as well. Weapon, Very good. Sawed off is added. The sawed off that uses 12 gauge and is very handy to overpower an enemy at a close range as it has a power That sound. Impact. You can equip a choke at the muzzle slot. So it's for close range. Um, did you see it? It is actually. Is that the pistol slot? Yeah, it should be the pistol slot if I'm not false. Not one hundred percent sure. A wrangle recruit mode will be added to new state lab. If that is the pistol slot, everybody will carry it. In this mode, you can recruit. And I'm gonna recruit. Eight survivors in your Do we need that? The mode, the mode is quite fun. But on the wrangle on a big map, oh, well, I'm not sure. Five seconds to recruit enemies. Yeah, the mode in is general is nice. Done, both the recruiter and the recruited recover HP and boost fully. And a survivor can't shoot the ones recruited. Oh, these are good changes. Both are full HP plus boost after recruiting one. And teammates cannot eliminate a person you are recruiting. That was an issue. That is very good. It's to prevent them from being... How long is this trailer? We still have like five minutes, even more than five minutes left. By what? Recruit mode will be available only for certain periods. So don't forget <laughs> to check a time. All running there. Mode. There has been some adjustment to customizing the balance for certain weapons. The number vector. of ammo loads of extended mag, the C2 custom of Vector, has been updated from 45 to 50, I guess. Yeah, 50. That is good. Horizontal recoil control. Why they're showing the glowing characters? Before that was that other Dream Runner guy. Now we can see here GLC, Carrie McGrath with that orange. It looks so good. Stock, the C1 custom of Micro Uzi has been downgraded. Micro Uzi downgraded. That's and okay. Auto aim capability for some weapons has been downgraded slightly. 
we'll keep rebalancing the weapon that is good on the actual in-game data general turn off out aim it's better without launchers ammo trace has been improved map mode updates oh season eight begins wow some jungle themed or some 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 yeah that is that is looking pretty cool the sk looks a little bit lame sorry to say that but the muted is all right for me and the ultima looks super good pan season pan season parachute for sure i take it we have seen better ones, but they are good. Finally, some green skins. The rewards will be granted with of the season. That picture looks so good. Can see the characters here. Oh my god! I like the fact that we're getting characters every season. When you enter the lobby. Moreover, a new honor. New honor badge. Wait a minute. What was it called? PPP squad battle royale total rank acquire when reach the rank before the season ends. A new honor reward will be added according to the ranking of the battle royale season. For the current Survivors season, in the top rankings, including first, second, and third place, will get the ranking season title. That will be fire for the first positions. The title will be granted as per ranking in each server and available during the season period. During the season period. Did you see it? Oh my god, these titles are visible on the starting island. That was requested pretty pretty long time. Not sure if it's only for teammates or for enemies as well. Very cool. Period. Hot time, Hot time schedule. schedule. That's all right. The ranking of shooting gallery will be reset, and the rewards will be distributed via your main Fair in accordance with the ranking in the previous season. Also, some patterns of shooting gallery will be changed. That is nice. The health of the moving targets and covered targets will be increased, and the duration of combo retention will be extended from two seconds to four seconds. That is good. There will be a change in the additional score that you get when a certain number of combos has been reached. Akinta Bounty Labs will be closed. We no. Will labs when we improve it with the feedback from survivors. The beta version of Graveyard Siege. No bounty the next at least four weeks. No, you can't do that. But they will, they said, for improvements. Has been closed too. It'll come back with better features in the near future. That is nice. The self-redeployment function has been improved in the early phase of Battle Royale. Okay. UI has been updated so that you can use some functions like report and kill feed check when a pop-up comes up. The selection time of redeployment has been extended from 10 seconds to 20 seconds. That is good. Message will be delivered when the available map has been opened in the map selection screen. A button is added to the upper side of the lobby to redirect survivors to the maps recommended by New State. Okay. When you tap the button, you'll be redirected to the selected map on the map selection screen. The legacy pass is here. Upgrade to legacy pass to obtain a special first released reward. That's a thing I hate already. Why the fuck they are bringing it back? There has been a great change in Survivor Pass. First, legacy pass will be newly added. You can get a reward from the previous premium pass when it's upgraded to legacy pass. Pass level is generally applied, so we hope you enjoy the legacy pass if you have missed some products or you're a new survivor who just visited new state in this survivor pass you can meet hipster zombie set by legacy pass <sighs> and that good vehicle i don't like that in celebration of the launch we'll distribute the undisclosed additional skins as a reward from that, that is okay yes that we're getting some additional legacy things pass. the missions of survivor pass but i don't like it Pass will be renewed. We'll add extreme missions where you can get much more SP. 
Its difficulty is challenging, but we can tell you it is worth taking on. They are bringing back old skins. I hate it. I hate it. That crates that is totally fine for me, but not at survivor passes. That is that is super annoying. I mean, the characters, yeah, yes, you can't get them obviously. There are some chicken metal edition rewards. That is pretty we'll good. Remove the story missions that have introduced the background story and lead characters of New State. Face skins, which have. Worth taking on, as you can get chicken medals as an additional completion reward. We'll remove the story missions that have introduced the background story and lead characters of New State. They remove background stories? So seriously? Face skins, which have been distributed as the final reward of the story missions, will be granted as a reward for reaching 50 level of free pass. That update is not too good. However, We'll introduce the story and background of New State through other content. Through other so, content, okay. Please look forward to future updates. We'll increase the amount of SP rewarded via daily missions so that you can increase survival pass level much easier. Yeah, but the weekly missions are not there anymore. The lead character of the new survival pass, Volume 17, is Maria Gale from Mayhem. That means no weekly mission video. You can get her for free when you reach a certain pass level. But that character is definitely fire. Ooh. Obtain the pride of Mayan Mesa instantly. That is so good. That Mesa looks so good. Moreover, you can get Mayhem Maria Gale's costume set when you upgrade your pass to Premium Pass. If okay. If you buy Premium Plus, you can receive much more plentiful rewards. The outfit is cool, and we already have, or we have again, those glowing parts. So good. Every NC spent for purchasing will be reimbursed when you reach a certain oh. pass level after purchasing premium pass. As I said, this looks so good. Some reward items from welcome new players. What? Sign in for 10 days and get rewards. What? Time limit? These are no good signs, guys. Time limited items. <laughs> no weekly missions. Old character skins coming back. Bounty removed. That is four things which I don't like. Season pass. Season skins not the best. Five things I don't like. Welcome new players event will be changed to a time limited but that is that is quite cool for new event reward items will be distributed in a form of fully upgraded ones fully upgraded items for but new players that is quite cool for a limited period of use we've prepared for many other updates other than the contents we introduced today please check the patch note too thank you for watching and we'll see you at new battlegrounds all right, that's it for today's update trailer. Well, we need to talk about it this afternoon. What are your opinions on it? Normally, I'm the guy hyping everything, but here, the first emote is pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's see. We will for sure play the update and we'll rank to Conqueror as usual. So what are your opinions guys please let me know it down below in the comment section and prepare yourself for a survivor pass giveaway a big thanks for watching today's video if you want to see the latest new state video then check out the video there at the bottom if you want to see more new state content check out the full playlist there at the top and if you don't want to miss anything else in the future then just subscribe by clicking this button